So two of the biggest tech corporations on the planet right now are Microsoft and Apple. Both are very well-known companies and they started at about the same time. So for the next three weeks, I will be having a series on the history of Microsoft and Apple and I've been really looking forward to this because I've been wanting to do this since like November. So, but I have had to push it back and back and back because other videos had to come first. So, without any further ado, let's get started with the 70s and 80s, Microsoft and Apple. So, Microsoft and Apple were started a long time ago. Uh, Apple's, one of Apple's first uh, computers there was the Apple One. And this was before any sort of interface. Um, it was all text command based so you had to type in everything and it was horrible by today's standards but that's just how computers were back then um, so the Apple one uh, came in 1975 and then two years later in 1977 Apple released the Apple II, which a lot of people to this day that grew up around that time still remember because it was such a successful product and so much more well known it was still text-based just like the Apple one there was no UI whatsoever there was no user interface but it did have advantages over the Apple one and that made it way more successful a lot of people don't even know that Apple had an Apple 3 computer which was another text-based it was released in 1980 and this is really the last one Apple released before they tried to have a user interface and that's what we'll have next so if you've been watching me, then you know about Apple Lisa. Uh, I talked about it in the top five worst operating systems of all time. Um, it was released in 1983. It was Apple's first shot at a graphical user interface, or GUI. Uh, but it was a big failure because it was way too expensive, and that's why it made my top five list and top five worst operating systems. So before we move on, let's jump to Microsoft. In 1981, they released MS-DOS, which stood for Microsoft, DOS, and DOS is Disk Operating System. Um, DOS is a text line based thing, just like Apple's computers had. Just Microsoft created their own variation of DOS, and they released it on, on IBM PCs. They were starting to develop Windows. Um, and Bill Gates really, really wanted Windows to be called Interface Manager, uh, not Windows. Uh, in fact, shortly before the announcement, uh, he was finally persuaded by some employees to change the name to Windows, and that's what stuck, because they knew that Windows would be way better than Interface Manager. Uh, so they announced it in 1983, and this is where Microsoft got accused and taken to court by Apple uh, they were accused of stealing things from Apple, like the overall desktop feel uh, that they had with Lisa and that they have with Mac. Um, stuff like the trash bin and all that stuff, that and having multiple windows on the screen that can be moved around with a mouse. Apple accused them of stealing it, and they had to take it out before Windows was ever released even though it could very easily support those things. Uh, they could not include it because of Apple. Um, so they finally released Windows 1.0 in 1985, which is a year uh, after Mac System 1 was released in 1984. So now we have both Windows and Mac out, and at first, Mac was way more popular than Windows was because Windows 1.0 was not very good and you can see here this is Windows 1.0 this is the screen you would see every time you boot up and this is your main screen there was absolutely no desktop in Windows 1.0 it just did not run well and Mac was way better at that time uh, Microsoft took another shot with Windows 2.0 in 1987 but it was a little bit better than Windows 1.0 but not really what really started to get them going was Windows 3.0, and we'll get into that next week. So guys, if you were in 1985, would you have bought a Mac machine or a Windows machine? Let me know in the comment below. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next Sunday. watching me you've heard about the apple lisa and i talked about that in the top five worst tech videos of all time all right